So you can see that uh, we have here number of uh, transactions and uh, we have created uh, some general entries. So we have around uh, 11 general entries here. You can see that from 1 to 11. And uh, most of the general entries are related to this. Most of the transactions in any kind of business, we find that uh, the owner, for example, here has invested some money and we have completed uh, this general entry by putting the same exactly the same amount on the debit side as well as on the credit side. Second, like uh, the Scotia Bank to cash. So once like the cash is deposited into the bank, so what happened? The value of the bank has increased, means the value in numbers, the number will increase, the amount in the bank balance increased. So we know that this is assets, so value of the assets has increased by $7,500. Second, that we have credited cash because the cash has gone down. We were having cash and we, we deposited in the bank. It's just like we have two pockets of our trouser and we are just getting the money from one trouser, one pocket, and putting in the another one, just like a drawer. We have two drawers, uh, like getting the money from the one drawer, putting another one, right? So definitely one, one will be empty and other will be having something, right? So the Scotia Bank account debit to cash. Next, the commission is paid for $250 in cash. It means cash has gone to cash, right? So when the cash is the assets, the current assets, it is decreasing. So we will definitely credit it. The commission is what? This is a expenditure of the company it comes under the nominal account. And we know that uh, what is the rule for the nominal account? Debit all expenses and losses and credit all income and gain. So here in this case, Commission is the expenditure of the company. So that's why this is on the debit side. Rent of the building to cash. So this is exactly the same kind of expenditure here that I have mentioned here in the third transaction. And the fifth transaction says cash we have received. So cash has increased. So that's why I have put this $6,000 on the debit side. And service revenue is income of the company. And this is no doubt nominal account. It falls under the nominal account because income and expenditures both comes under the nominal account. So credit, what, uh, the, the, what is the rule for that? Debit all expenses and losses, credit all income and gain. So in this case, this is the income and gain. So we have put that figure on the credit side. Credit all income and gains. This is the income for the company. Now the assets uh, we have bought, the fixed kind of assets that our company have bought for the operation of the business. And uh, this asset will keep in the business for the long period of time. So laptop. So laptop account debit to bank. Why we have written bank? Because the check was paid. So no need to write check, but we need to write bank here. Right? So laptop account debit to Scotia Bank. Sometimes there may be a little confusion. Can we write the purchase account instead of laptop? No. What's the reason behind? Purchase account only when we write, only for the goods. Goods, what is the meaning of goods? Goods mean that uh, all the items and commodities we buy for selling or known as goods. Laptop we are buying in the company. This is not for selling because this is we keep in the business for the long period of time. So next we have <coughs> advertisement. So what is the meaning of advertisement? We know that. So making like um, uh, advertisement for selling of the goods. So advertisement is expenditure of the company with debited and the by check the payment is made $320 that is credit. So advertisement to bank. So uh, loan is taken from the bank $2,500. So we say like this loan has been taken from the bank for more than 12 months. It means long period of the time. It means long term loan from the bank. So when we take loan from the bank, they normally they don't give in cash. You will have to have one current account, checking account, saving account, whatever the account that you have. If you have a business, you need to have a business account here. So that money will be transferred to the business account. You're taking loan from the Scotia Bank, no doubt. Right? But Scotia Bank will be giving loan from their funds. They will be transferring $2,500 in your account. So your account balance, your Scotia bank account balance will increase. So that's why this is debit. And definitely you will go and will pay this 
money later on right maybe after 20 uh, after 12 months maybe two years or three years because this is of long term type of nature like long term type of loan from bank so liability has increased when the liability increased with credit furniture just like the laptop we bought we have uh, bought furniture from ikea but on credit we did not pay anything but in this case we paid we paid by check so immediately the payment was made but in the transaction number nine you see this is a credit transaction so it means that money is not paid immediately maybe that they might have uh, done a promise or maybe a, you can say a term of 30 days credit maybe more or less it all depends upon their understanding and agreement so furniture account debit to ikea account payable furniture is increased in verbenas and ikea is the name of the company and it's a payable it's a personal account credit the giver right so this is the liability that short-term liability has increased definitely it will go on the balance sheet right and the liability side current liability side now company fee that there is a requirement for the loan so Mira, maybe uh, maybe owner's friend or maybe owner's brother or sister, whatever it is. But the thing is, they have taken a loan for, uh, in the form of cash, not bank, not check, right? Only cash. So $1,100 cash is taken from the Mira, and this is uh, the short-term loan. So Mira is uh, his friend. So loan we have taken, it doesn't mean that you will not pay. If, whenever, even it was in the present, past or future if there is some liability right you need to pay something you owe money to anyone it means that the liability that will come on the balance sheet on the liability side cash has increased no doubt and the meter loan has also increased right so this is the liability 1100 and this is the assets so this is that's why we say it's a double entry system one will be debit and one will be credit right so with the same amount so that's why we see the tire balance is matching. We see uh, the balance sheet is also matching. This is only because of this. The next most important transaction is the depreciation and the accumulated depreciation on furniture $90. We know that we have bought a furniture. <clears throat> At the end of the period, 131st of December, the depreciation will be charged. This is also known as adjustment entry as well. Depreciation is non-cash expenditure. So cash is not involved anywhere. But even then, this, this is considered as the expenditure of the company that falls under the nominal account. Rule for the nominal account is debit all expenses and losses, credit all income and gain. So depreciation is expenses here. And two, accumulated depreciation on furniture. What is the meaning of this? It means that we know that the depreciation is for what? Depreciation is for pay off the assets, the value of the assets uh, during the lifetime of the assets. Right? Reduction in the value of assets. So that is considered as a expenditure. Accumulated depreciation of furniture is the value of the assets has gone down. So this is also considered as assets, but that will come on the on the credit side because the value of the assets has gone down by ninety dollars. So these are the eleven transactions. <clears throat> Normally we do all these transactions in Microsoft Excel, or uh, but like so if we have some software just like a QuickBooks software. So we can put all these uh, transactions in a very simple way in the form of journal, if we would like to do that. So on the other side, I have opened the quick book here. So in the quick book, what you can see that, you can see at the end, there is the accounting and chart of account. So click on the chart of account first of all, and you will find here the chart of account. Number of accounts are already there, right? So, but I'm just going to start with the, with the starting with the first one. Cash account debit to RJ Capital 12,000. So first I'm going to create the cash account, right? So cash account is current. So here, what I need to do, I need to click on the on the new button and here cash on hand. So cash on hand is what, first of all? We need to see this is, this is the kind of current assets. So let me see where is the current assets. So if I write here current, current assets here and here, that we need to write an undeposited amount. We have another uh, link as well. We cannot make any modification here, right? But we should know where all these are. So in this way, we need to explore each and everything in detail. So current assets, and at the end, we know that undeposited fund. Why we have selected the undeposited fund? Because 
that we have received money from anyone, maybe from the owner of the business, but we have not deposited this money in the bank. So that's why this is known as undeposited fund. Right? So cash, uh, current assets, undeposited fund here, what we can write, we can write here cash in hand. Cash in hand, cash on hand, whatever that you want, you can write it here. So when you click on save and close, so it will be created. If in any case, if this account is already exist, the message, the error message will come that this account is already there. Let's see what happened. Right. So when I click on the save and close, the something is not quite right. Another account is already using this name. Please use a different name. It means already the account is there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this one. And uh, I just want to write here where is the cash. Yeah, so cash in hand is already there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make a inactive if I want to make a new one. So I'm going to make it inactive. So in this way, you will be able to know you can inactive this. So, OK, the message appears. You cannot inactive. The reason be the amount is also there. So let it be like this. And you what you can do, you can make some edit. Click on edit. Current assets, current assets, undeposited account. And this account is here, right? OK, so we have, we can see all this information. Even then, if we want, this is cash in hand. If I just want to create another with another name. So let's say current assets and undeposited fund. And here I am just going to write a cash on hand. Instead of in, I have written on. Let's see what happened. OK, again, this is saying this is saying that there can be only one account of detail type undeposited fund. This is absolutely right. Reason. So if this account, this kind of uh, like detail type undeposited fund, we have selected only for one time, it will remain the same, right? It means that you will not be able to create an, another one. Why? This is only because that whatever the undeposited money you will be having, right? So that will be under only one account. In this case, if you are going to make another, or if the software allow you to make another one, so there will be a confusion that how much money we have in our hand, which is the note deposited in the bank, if it is in the two account. So this is for the for the safety reason. This is one of the feature of a big book. Okay, so close it. It means this is already created. Now the second one is RJ's capital account. So we know that RJ is owner of the business. If the owner of the business, we should have here equity. We will find equity here. Let me see. Yeah, so equity is here, right? So equity is the main account type. In the detail type, we can write here owner's equity, right? Owner's equity. But here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to RJ's capital account. So RJ's capital account uh, that I have put it name here, save and close now. So one RJ capital is created. So we want to check whether this is created or not. Click here and I will write RJ. Yeah, so this is created RJ and also verify equity and owner's equity. So we are absolutely right because if sometime if we choose another wrong type of something, wrong type of a detail type, then again there will be some problem, right? So better to verify everything. This is this is just belongs to equity. It means everything is good. Now second uh, next second uh, transactions is deposit seventy five hundred cash into bank. So Scotia Bank to cash. Cash is already created. No need to create. Scotia bank account we need to create, right? So this is debit or credit, doesn't matter. Bank is bank, right? Scotia bank. Let's see. Click on the new button again. And here bank. And here we are going to select a checking. And here I'm going to write Scotia. Scotia bank account, save and close. Now Scotia bank account is created here. You can see. Next, we are going to create a commission. And cash, cash we don't need. Already we have commission. So commission is what? Commission is the expenditure of the company. So here, uh, let's see where the expenditure are. Expenses, other expenses, 
other income. So let it be expenses here. And this expenses is commission. So let's see uh, if the commission is here or not. We will just go through with maybe commission or maybe something other uh, we can select. Just let's see one by one. <clears throat> So this is a charitable cost distribution insurance legal meals office office or general expenses. This is also one payroll promotional meal rent repair shipping supplies tax meals and uh, utilities and bill expenses. Let's see other expenses. In other expenses we see depreciation other miscellaneous expenses and the penalties right. So we can select other miscellaneous expenses or we can select from here the expenses. Is there any other expenses? Let's see. No. The main heading other current liabilities. Yeah. So this is uh, actually not a current liability. Expenses are expenses. Expenses are not liabilities. So this will not fall under this first of all. Right. So expenses are here. Uh, like click on this advertisement promotions. Uh, we have this one advertisement and promotion bank charges dues, entertainment, shipping, legal and professional fees, meals, offers, other miscellaneous service cost, and, uh, and office or general administration expenses, repair and maintenance, lease, promotional meals, payroll expenses. Okay, so if this is a commission, so commission is given to our employees for more sale, so what we can do, we can click on the payroll expenses. We can do that, right? So salaries, wages, uh, uh, worker compensation, guarantee, and other all kind of expenses. We can put it here. There is no any problem. So expenses, payroll expenses are here. What you can write here, commission. Right? So there is no any problem if you select uh, uh, other type of expenses as well. For example, like instead of uh, selecting this one, you can select the miscellaneous. Or you can select uh, uh, other general administrative expenses that even you can select this one. There will be no any problem, right? It's upon you which you select, right? But I have selected here payroll expenses and uh, save and close. So one that uh, this account is already created, right? Next is the rent of the building. So rent of the building is expenditure of the company. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select here what kind of expenditure that we have. Let's say again, click on the expenses and here, let's see if there is any rent of the building. Uh, yeah, this is under expenses. You will find the rent or lease of building. Yeah, so exactly when you select this one detail type, the exactly same thing that you will be able to see, but I don't want this. I want to change this name to rent of building. OK, so click on save and close. <clears throat> OK, so cash to service revenue, service revenue. Service revenue is not expensive. This is income. So let me see if it is income. Yeah, so income is there. Other income is there. Uh, I select uh, income and let's see if we have some revenue type of something. Yes, service income or revenue or fees income, right? So we can select this one. And also what we can do, I just want to explore other income as well. In other income that we have you know, interest income, uh, loss or gain on the sale of fixed assets. No, I don't want this. So the better this is, this is the income. This income is okay, the normal one, right? So here I'm just going to write here service income. Okay, so same thing is coming here, but I want here service service income or you can write revenue service revenue or sales revenue so you can write here service revenue whatever that is convenient for you right you can write it but it should it should say and explain the meaning itself okay so now uh, we have created one account so one heading is created. Next is the cash account debit to service revenue is done. A laptop to Scotia Bank. Scotia Bank already created. So we will create a laptop, right? So we know that laptop is assets of the company. So here 
current assets no property plant and equipment yes so property plant and equipment is the main heading where you can put a number of assets so let's say what happened we can see that property plant and equipment under the detail type uh, let's see is there any something uh, machine or equipment or a vehicle or a building so we were we were just going to start looking for the laptop but you cannot find laptop laptop is also equipment of the company right so what we can see we can select the machinery and equipment or you can uh, you can select other fixed assets there is no any problem right so other fixed assets also you can see this is also a physical property for uh, the operation of the business so here you can write furniture or laptop yeah so laptop is there so this is a uh, fixed assets so under the property plant and equipment so i have just created a laptop here laptop property plant and equipment other fixed assets right now next is advertisement to scotia bank so advertisement is one of the expenditure here advertisement okay so advertisement is the expenses first of all we need to select expenses and the first one is advertisement right so here i'm just going to do advertisement expenses so advertisement expenses and here i'm just going to click save and close so advertisement expenses account is created right if we want to check it we can check just like adv and you will see we able to see at the front All right so next we have here scotia bank to long term loan from the bank scotia bank we have already created right so long term loan means long term means uh, more than 12 months as long-term liability click on the new button and we will find here liability first of all long-term assets current assets long-term liability yes this is the only that we will select long-term liability here uh bank loan yes this was the bank loan and other we can also see long from long-term borrowing long-term employee benefit not payable no need right only bank loan is appropriate so here what i'm going to write here long term loan from scotia bank so here i can write loan from scotia bank just like so this is the descriptive right uh, this is uh, only for our understanding whatever the name that we are choosing this is for our benefit so that we should be able to know what kind of loan is taken from which bank long term long term loan that we have taken we can write here long term as well long term loan from scotia bank or you can write a long term loan scotia bank this is also good right save and close so now the one long term liability account is created furniture and ikea account payable so both we will create the first one is the furniture one go to new and uh, we will find here property plant and equipment here we will have furniture right so here what i'm going to write only furniture so let me see uh, if it is already created right so the error message will come otherwise we will be able to create it okay let's see yeah it's already there another account is already using this name please use a different name i don't want to use different i just want to see and just verify whether it is there or not furniture furniture is there property plant equipment and just i want to check it yeah everything is good like property plant equipment done no need to create any another account okay so next is ikea payable account ikea payable account it means liability so we bought furniture on credit and we will pay money later on and this is not a long-term liability this is short term liability so you can write here uh, let's see yeah other current liabilities are good or uh, you can say account payable is also good like you can say it account payable because that we have uh, bought something on uh, on credit so here ikea account payable so account payable what i'm going to do i'm just going to write accounts payable comma ikea ikea that's it so in this way we will be able to understand that we 
have bought some of the article on credit and we will pay money to whom to ikea under account payable under the liabilities so even here you can see account account payable is also here right account payable and account payable this is the different account so instead of uh, going to the another liabilities so better is account payable heading is account receivable is also there account payable is also there so better to select account payable from the account type detail type account payable will come this is account payable that is really very good so save and close oh another account is already created okay it means already it is there let's see um, let's see account payable ikea now try yeah now this is created so the ikea account let's see accounts payable yeah accounts payable ikea is created because once uh, like the we created it ikea account payable is also there so there may be little confusion so better is better is uh, to deactivate this one inactive yes and uh, account payable account payable I'm just trying to deactivate whether it happens or not. Yeah, this is also done. So now we have uh, we have a properly account payable IKEA only one because if there will be let's say IKEA account payable and one account payable IKEA at the time of making general entries or transaction, then then you can get confused like which one which one that you select. Sometimes you will select this one, sometimes another. Some amount will be here, some amount will be there. So at the end there will be a problem. So better to have one account account type for one only. Next we have a cash already created Miro's loan account. Let's go and start with this exactly the same thing. Miro's loan account means this is liability and uh, other current liabilities. Here you can write payroll or short term liability let me see if it is here short term borrowings is here right uh, loan payable is also here interest payable is there insurance payable is there line of credit is there all these are the liabilities right so current liability what we can do look at this so mira's loan account that we have taken loan right so loan that we have taken uh, from Mira and uh, the previously loan we taken from the bank that was a long term loan. Otherwise, we don't have any other loan. So this loan is taken from from friend, Ms. Mira. Let's see. So here the current law, other current liabilities and current liability will be also okay, right? There is no any problem. So this is current liability. We can choose this one and let's see whether we can use another one or not 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 this one not this one long term no then credit card account payable no this is not account payable long term asset property other current accounts receivable no only and only we have this option other current liabilities in another other current liabilities well, let's see whether we can choose any other or not which is more appropriate which is more appealing which we can think like this is the right one whenever you do this this way then everything will be everything will be okay. Trust account, short term borrowing from related parties. Now you can choose this one, but uh, this is the best one, right? So current liability is good. Here we can write the name of the person. So name of the person is Mira's loan. So what I'm going to write here, Mira's loan account. Okay, or simple Mira loan if you want that also okay ac is also okay okay something another account is already using uh, this name oh it means already account is there let's see i'm just going to write mira yeah so mira's loan account is already there no need to create it right so how to create that i have explained other current liabilities current liabilities mira zone and save and close that's it all done Next, we had depreciation to cumulative depreciation. Depreciation is uh, uh, expenses of the company. Let's see, so depreciation, where that will come? Another expenses and depreciation and depreciation. That's it, all good. 
nothing to do anything right so depreciation 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 save and close depreciation is created let me see double check yeah so this is depreciation and this is depreciation expenditure it means there may be confusion as well but i don't want any confusion for this what i'm going to do no doubt depreciation is expenses so what i'm going to do i am just copy and paste this one and edit this one and paste here and the message will come the name is already being used would you like to merge the account if i say yes so if i say yes there are two counts that will be converted into one i want to convert it yes now there is only one account of depreciation even we can we can verify by entering here so yeah only one account is here okay so depreciation is created this is one of the expenditure of the company which is of non cash expenditure accumulated depreciation on furniture let's see so accumulated depreciation of furniture let's see and just click on new button okay so this is a property plant and equipment accumulated depreciation yes so property plant and equipment fixed assets accumulated depreciation that we have selected here what i want i want uh, to make a short little bit accumulated depreciation on that what what which article we have furniture okay so accumulated the depreciation of furniture so in this case what i'm going to do we know this is the depreciation and which is related to the main main account what is the main account furniture account so i want this to be as a sub account of furniture this is not furniture account this is accumulated depreciation furniture account here if i write furniture so this is coming so it means what i'm going to do i have made a sub account of the furniture account and this is accumulated depreciation account and save and close so now i have saved and closed so in this way that we have created all the transactions one by one right okay now what to do uh, and the next step is very important how to make a general entries right uh, if we have all this ready and it is very easy to make all the uh, all in the journal entry we can uh, transfer this one and post these entries into journal so how to do this one you can see the gear icon on the right hand side when you click on the gear and you, we will uh, be able to find something here or if that is something is not available what we are looking for we are looking for this thing journal entries so if you click on here you will not be able to find any journal or something but where it is in the new click on new you will find customer suppliers employees other one two three the third one is the general entry when you click on the general entries right so what you will find you will find exactly the same way the general entries okay i'm repeating once again i'm just going to close it i have closed this one now again where to go first of all we need to go to new then general entries right okay here number one from one we can start and date is also very very important date is also very very important some of the entries if you want to change the date what you can do uh, you can start from putting some of the entries from january from february randomly you can select right let's say january but uh, according to the rule whatever the date on which the transaction is made you should select that one just for practice purpose just you can select them maybe 10th of january right for next transaction maybe 10th of february or 15th of february march april and so on but the depreciation at the end of the period on 31st of december okay so let's see the first entry the first entry is cash to rj capital 12000 so here i'm just click here i'm writing cash the moment i write c a s h automatically sum is coming so unapplied cash no this is not one this is the this is our uh, cash in hand this we want so cash in hand we selected 
Now, what is the debit amount here? Is it 12,000? Tab, tab, description. In the description, what I'm going to write? Cash invested by the owner. So I can write here cash invested by owner, right? Nothing else, not here, not here, nothing. No need to write anything. Okay, so next here, that what I'm going to write here, the name of the person, RJ's Capital. Let's see, RJ's Capital is here. Yes, so RJ, RJ's Capital. It is automatically coming now. Why this is automatically coming? Because first step that we created well, the first step was to create accounts. We created accounts, now this is already coming. So once you selected the $12,000, it automatically comes. And whatever that you write here, it auto automatically comes here as well, just for our understanding why the transaction is done. Now there is a save button and save and new. And there is also a drop down, save and close. So I don't want to save and close. I just want save and new. So what will happen when save and close? Let's see, save and close. It means one general entry is completed. Right. And second is if we say like save and new, the new screen will appear because of the second entry. So I'm just going to make a second entry here. Scotia Bank to cash 7500. OK, so Scotia Bank to cash. So in this way, I first of all, I need to go to the same way. New general entry. So now automatically general number two is coming. First, I selected one. Now second is also coming on automatically scotia bank to cash here i click it here scotia bank okay and how much is the amount it's a 7500 right so here in the description we can write a deposit money into bank so here deposit cash into bank right and here we will write cash. Once you click it, everything will be coming. Save and close. No, I don't want save and close. I want save and new. OK, it is saved. Now the third entry. Third is here. Commission to cash is 250. So here I'm just going to write commission. Yeah, this commission. So 250. And description commission paid. And here, the, whether it's paid by cash or bank, let's see. Commission to cash. So here, I'm just going to write cash. Yeah, so cash in hand, everything is good, same and new. The fourth, journal number fourth is coming. Now, rent of the building to cash is 1200. Let's see, rent of the building. Rent of the building is coming, rent of the machinery, outstanding. No, we need only rent of the building. Okay, so rent of the building. How much is the rent of the building? So the rent of the building is 1200 cash. So 1200 rent paid, rent paid. Here, um, cash. So this was rent was paid by cash. So save and new. Right. No, rent of the building cash. Cash account debit to service revenue 6000. So next is cash account debit 6000. And uh, we have here uh, service revenue. So here we can write service uh, rendered. Rendered means given, right? So service given and received cash. So here we can write here service revenue. Oh, two service revenue. It means we need to select only one. Sometimes the two service revenues are coming. We can get confused, but no problem. We can select only one. Same uh, debit and credit and same and new. Now next is the sixth transaction. Laptop to Scotia Bank, 500. Laptop, I, I just want to change the date. Mm, let's say March, 14th March. Laptop, laptop uh, 500, right? Fixed assets purchase. Laptop to Scotia Bank. Scotia Bank, right? Everything is good. Same and new. Same as an exam. Okay. Advertisement to Scotia 320. 
advertisement expenses. So this is a 320. Add advertisement bid, right? Or expense advertisement expenses. Maybe if you say uh, if you want to describe something, uh, what kind of advertisement expenses was there? You can write a radio. On radio, there was uh, uh, advertisement, right? Radio, or you can say FM expenses. Uh, just for our understanding, right? So here, whether this is given by cash or check, let me see. Advertisement to Scotia Bank. So here, I'm just going to write here bank, Scotia Bank. Right. So 320, same and new, transaction number eight. So just we are going to finish it in just eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Scotia to long term loan, twenty five hundred. Scotia Bank, twenty five hundred. Long term loan is taken from the bank. Okay. So Scotia Bank to here yeah, just like long term. Yeah. So long term loan Scotia Bank. Save and new. Now ninth channel entry is furniture to IKEA account payable. Uh, I want to change date now. Okay, so furniture. Okay, yeah, we have furniture here. How much is the amount? One thousand. Furniture. Changed. Okay, let's see. So furniture to IKEA account paper. So furniture was paid. Uh, uh, furniture was purchased uh, on uh, credit. So I'm just going to write account payable. Account payable IKEA. Let me see. Yeah, account payable IKEA. You see it. So one thousand dollar. That is the. Oh, it is saying something else. What this is saying. <clears throat> This is saying when you are using the account payable, you must choose the suppliers in the name field. OK, uh, absolutely right. Sometimes this is the supplier name we have written here, but accounting QuickBooks say that you have heading all only heading, but you don't have IKEA's company's information, right? So IKEA is what IKEA is uh, is a company from where we bought something that was a supplier. So if you click on the name here and uh, there is a drop down arrow, click on this and IKEA furniture we want to create add new. Once you click on add new, then here the one window will appear. So in this window, what you want, we want right here IKEA company, IKEA, like IKEA. Furniture company, and maybe uh, let's say this is Burnaway. It's a Burnaway branch. So, IKEA Furniture Company, Burnaway. This is display name. If you want company name and uh, name of the print on the check, mm, IKEA Furniture Company. Uh, if you want, right here. IKEA. Okay, so email address, phone number. I don't want all this information. Billing address. I don't want any billing address. Uh, not, uh, uh, no need anything. Or uh, any term, no need, right? Other information, I no need to write anything. Just only create. Uh, not a customer. So for, this is also important, right? If you find not, we are not creating customer. We are creating supplier account. This is the most important part. If you forget at this point, you will be considering that I have created this one, but that will not come here under the account payable. Again, you will be getting confused. So better is the first step is to change this one, then write name. So supplier, this is our supplier, not our customer. We are customer. So suppliers and IKEA furniture company, IKEA and save it. Let's see what happens. OK, so now it is coming, right? So IKEA furniture, same way that I need to select here. IKEA furniture company Burnaway. So I have selected from the both side here. Uh, 
this is furniture. This is the IKEA furniture. So this furniture is a fixed assets. I think there is no need for this. Right? No need for this. If you have selected, you can delete by the backspace. And only this much are required because this, this account is related to account payable. Right? So the, here is no need. Let's see what happened. Yeah, so this is also created. Right? So furniture to IKEA is done. Cash to Mira loan. OK, so cash, no need. I want to change the date now. OK, cash account debit to Mira loan. Short term loan from the friend of Miss Lira cash. That is $1,100. So here I'm just going to write cash. A loan of friend. Oh, sorry. Right. And uh, what's the name of the friend? Samira's loan current account. Save and new. No last transaction. Depreciation to accumulated depreciation for nature, right? So how much is the amount? $90 only. So depreciation, right? So depreciation here, depreciation expenditure. Here I should write, I should write the 30, 30th of December, right? Because this depreciation is always we put uh, uh, at the end of the accounting period, that is uh, 31st of December, right? And here, what is the amount for the depreciation? Is $90. And here we can write it depreciation on, depreciation on, on what kind of assets? Furniture. So this is just for our understanding, depreciation on furniture. Here, that we will write accumulated depreciation on furniture. Let's see whether it is here. Yeah, accumulated depreciation furniture. Right. Save and close. Okay. Now we have created all the transactions, 11 transactions in, uh, in this form. 